culture. He captured numerous Golden Gloves and national titles. Now 9-0 oh as a pro with three KOs, representing No Excuse Gym. Hailing from Washington, D.C., here is Lamont Rhodes, Jr. Referee Billy Johnson with the final. And we're underway from the D.C. Armory in Washington, D.C. Lamont Roach Jr., undefeated 20-year-old from D.C. with three KOs. He's in the white trunks. Takes on veteran Jesus Lule from Mexico City, Mexico, now living in Fort Myers, Florida. He's in the black trunks with red trim. Lamont Roach Jr., 9-0 with three KOs. And Bethel Duran alongside Doug Fisher. This one is scheduled in the lightweight division for eight rounds. Lamont Roach Jr. fighting in his hometown for the first, for the second time in his career, and for the first time since April of 2014. He made his pro debut here at the DC Armory. After that, he's been all over the United States. A nice young prospect. A highly touted amateur, huh? Man? Yeah, he was uh, a national amateur champion. Won numerous tournaments. As a teenager, he's only 20 years old, so he has the uh, edge in youth. He's got the edge in size and athleticism. He has the obvious edge in technique. Lule has the uh, the edge in experience. Lamont Roach Jr. trained out of the No Excuse Gym. Nearby, trained by his uncle, Bernard Roach. Assistant is his father, Lamont Roach Sr. A family affair, his younger brother sitting ringside watching him, and also a nice young fighter at the age of 12. Lamont is defending well on the inside, keeping a high guard. I like his jab, I like his poise, and I like the speed and accuracy of his punches. Speaking with Roach about having that last minute replacement, says, no big deal, take him, and he's launching the left and the right uppercut, stun Lula on the rope in the first round in the corner. Lamont Roach has the veteran Mexican fighter in trouble. Continuing to pound up there, another uppercut. Crowd on his feet for the hometown kid, and down goes Lule. And you hear the crowd excitement they're seeing the hometown kid, highly talked about. A lot of people wearing Lamont Roach Jr. t-shirts. They came to see their local fighter put on the show, and he's doing that here in the first round. We're scheduled for eight. Keyword schedule, big right hand from Roach. If Roach goes down to the body, he can get this guy out of here in the opening frame. Final seconds of the opening round. Lamont Roach Jr. dropping Jesus Lule with a barrage of punches in that first round. Second round, Lamont Roach Jr., the 20-year-old former college student. He was an engineering major his freshman year at the University of Maryland. And engineering requires a lot of your attention. He was a full-time student. And Roach, the more he was traveling around the country for fights and training, decided that it was just too much to be a full-time student and dedicate himself completely to boxing. He stepped away after one year at Maryland. He said he loved it, loved being a student. But he has a future in boxing, especially with that left hook that he connects. And it's not just what he's doing with his hands. It's what he's doing with his feet, which is setting up all those angles to deliver these uppercuts and hooks and crosses. It comes Won a couple, then realized, hey, I can make a living out of this. It's a tough way to make a living. He's 8-15-1. Yeah. But you know what? He fought seven times in 2015, and those purses add up. Particularly when you're called um, uh, as a late substitute, just a few days' notice or like one day's notice, the matchmakers have to come out the pocket. Right now, Lamont Roach is starting to come out of his pockets, letting his hands go a bit here yes, in he the is. third round. Lule with a low blow to keep it up. Eats an uppercut. A minute to go in the third. Schedule for eight. Lula, you mentioned to Doug, have gloves, will travel. Jump on a plane, last minute notice. Trying to come on here in the third. No much, not much power from the Mexican fighter. We will stand there and trade with you. He's been stopped before, but he's normally durable. And he's already fought once this year. He fought January 31st. So he's not the kind of guy who's going to enter the ring with uh, any rust. Fights fall through, or whatever it is. They get tired of the same monotony of the That's routine. True. I mean, these guys could come in and just destroy someone in the first round. Right. But does it help you? No. No, it doesn't. 
although quickie KOs, they, it, it, it causes a buzz within the boxing world. It does, it does garner attention. And of course, any prospect who's 19, 20, 21 years old, he wants that. But you do, I do see what you're talking about. Road, like every single round, there's like something different that he's been told to work on. Whether yeah. it be in the defense or just throwing the hooks. Yeah, I mean he's he's giving Lule a lot of looks, and he's sort of he's allowing Lule to get off, but he's he's defending well. And speaking with uh, Golden Boy matchmaker Roberto Diaz and Javier Razo about finding somebody for Roach was difficult. Guys coming in nine and zero, maybe they don't want to take this fight like his original opponent. Ooh, last minute backed out. Yeah, didn't get on the plane. They didn't get on the plane. I mean the. The business side that these matchmakers have to deal with. And also with the fighters. The left hook from Roach. Could he be slowing down? No, he's starting to pick up the pace a little bit here. And he's been right pacing hand. himself well, even though he's been active. And I'm sure his conditioning is, is, is very good for this fight. I would hope so. You know, fighting in front of his hometown for only the second time in his pro career. He's been efficient with his punches. Where we've saw him before, where he'd come out, throw a lot of punches, yeah. but they weren't always landing. I noticed body that hurt. in his last fight. Oh, he I told you, hurt. body shot. Told you, body, body shot. how he's gonna hurt this guy. Lule backed away immediately, a left hook to the body. A staple of the Mexican fighter. Roach goes and uses it. And Lule is trying to breathe and survive the sixth round. Final seconds of the sixth round. Lamont Rhodes Jr. with a hard body shot. And Lule trying to cut up that right side and survive the sixth. Lule showing he's not chopped liver. He's still in there. Went down in the first. A hard body shot in the sixth. Been all Lamont Roach Jr. in this fight. For schedule for eight. The DC Armory in his hometown. Yeah. They can be harsh critics. Very honest critics with him. Yeah, there, I mean, there's always room for improvement, but what I'm seeing right now from, from the Mont Roach Jr., I, I see a lot of promise, a lot of potential. Body work from Roach. Ten seconds to go in the fight. Lamont Roach closing it strong in his hometown of Washington, D.C., landing the big shots. And that'll do it. They go the distance. Lamont Roach Jr., Jesus Lule go eight rounds. A fight that was completely controlled from the opening bell by Lamont Roach Jr. The official scoring is as follows. Judge Manuel V. Sin scored it 78 to 73. Judge David Braslow saw it 79 72. And Judge Wayne Smith scored it 80 to 72. All to the winner by unanimous decision. And still undefeated, Lamont Roach Jr. Lamont Roach Jr. wins by unanimous decision. The 20-year-old is now 10-0.